Well, the president of the Navajo Nation says that they are seeing a downward trend in cases, but with 4th of July weekend just a couple of days away, they're worried that cases can go up. I know that people don't want to stay home during the 4th of July weekend, but it's up to us. It's up to everyone to hold each other accountable. This holiday weekend, the Navajo Nation president is urging citizens to stay home. We are going to be putting checkpoints, roadblocks throughout the Navajo Nation. On top of checkpoints and roadblocks, President Jonathan Nez announcing today they're reinstating their 57-hour curfew for the next three weekends and are extending their government closure until at least July 25th. There's going to be no businesses open. you got to get your necessities before you enter to the Navajo Nation. And we just uh, respectfully request our visitors to just uh, go on through our nation and abide by our public health orders. On top of the pandemic, the nation is also dealing with the Wood Springs 2 wildfire. This is a lot different battling this uh, fire than any others previously because of the public health emergency. Tonight, President Nez says they're praying for rain and safety for their citizens. What affects us here on Navajo Nation affects the folks off our nation and vice versa. So we can all work together to push this virus out of our homes and out of our communities and enjoy the 4th of July weekend. For more information on the restrictions out on the Navajo Nation, you could visit our website at KOAT.com. Reporting in Albuquerque, Marissa Adamas, KOAT Action 7 News. Fireworks are also a concern for Navajo Nation citizens. Currently, they have a fire restriction in place that prohibits fireworks and open fires.